You're not gonna forget tonight. Every other time you've been drunk before, I've known. Don't you remember the old days when your uni days? User was kicked out of your channel. User joined your channel. That's denial. User was kicked out User of your joined channel. Your channel. Nope. User was kicked User joined out of your channel. channel. User was User kicked joined out of your channel. User, User was joined your channel. Out of your channel. What's not happening? User was kicked User out of your channel. channel. Right. Oh, the council is rich. <laughs> User was moved User out of your channel. Your channel. Oh, shit, my god. Huh? Hmm? Bloody... Please... I'm watching uh, again, uh, Come on! Wow. Are, you yeah, watching, uh, are you watching the Storm one, yeah? Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, that wasn't training, that was you leading. About to say the, uh, that was the main operator on that ball too. Or was it training? You're also training up. Oh, was, I'd like to watch it. It'd be good to see. Well, I'm gonna get mine hopefully edited and get mine sorted out so you'll be able to watch my perspectives too at some point. But you'll see it, Storm Tank go pop. That's the highlight of the video. Fuck off. <laughs> did, you hear, did you hear my reaction after you got shot, Storm? No. I went, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, we spent a long time walking down that road. How long? Half hour. So. Half hour. Perfect. What, it took about 10 it's minutes? It's amazing how much time people give up to do fuck all. <laughs> well, technically, it's just a You know you're drunk. You're pretending to walk for a minute, tree. See, look. You can tell he's drunk, yo. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to point out though, because I'm going to record it. Storm, record this. It's so funny because he won't remember it. And then you can play it back and he's going to like, Did I actually say that? That's not true. To be fair though, I want to join the Real Army and I'm planning on joining the Real Army, so. I have you any notes on this just sort of thing, a little bit of practice and beforehand. Oh, it's close. You can get to the real thing without actually being in the real thing. Um, if I don't get into the army, I know some mates out in Syria who have asked me to come out and join them. What, like PMC or something? No, um, YPG. I see. I see. YPG slash J. What's that stand for? People's Protection Unit. Ah. Um. Oh, Especially yes, they're yeah, good. Oh, fair enough. They're fighting against ISIS. How do they, get, how do they get their equipment? Do you know? Um, yeah, I sure do. Um, they get a lot of it off the black market. Some of it from US airdrops, and some of it they take from ISIS. Huh, fair enough. It's a big mix. Um, let's face it, weapons aren't that hard to get hold of in Syria. I imagine so, yeah. They get a lot of them off the black market. Syria is a massive hotspot for black markets because every single country in the world was flooding the Syrian black market with weapons because they want to find out how well their weapons do against weapons of their opponents. So, right now, there's the Soviet latest technology and the US latest technology. For example, the T90 uh, 2005 variant uh, has been pitted against the latest US anti-tank technology and lost thoroughly. If you look anywhere into it, you'll find the latest bit of modern military technology. Practically using that as a testing ground then, aren't they? Yeah. Well, yeah, as soon as there's any war announced anywhere, um, arms company shares shoot up. Well, they've got to make the money somehow, don't they? Selling it to civilians just doesn't cut it. <laughs> I noticed as soon as I left the parade, everyone started jogging. Well, it's meant to be a tablet, though, do we? 
Yeah, that's fair enough. Good job. Passing mind. Of course he would. For real, mm. he is. <laughs> I just, I just kicked for a random moment. Bombs telling off Carlson for moaning. <laughs> <laughs> Carlson is such a whiny bitch. He is bomber stomach. Well, the thing is, he likes to think of himself as a professional soldier, but I think if Carlson ever joined the army, he'd be studied out basic within two weeks. What do you think of uh, long feet performance? Um. Yeah, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so, zero, zero points on him so far. I've once yet. I've called him so three times. Lots of trenches. Yes, that will be Matt's handiwork. Tom, um, you don't check your perimeter very much. You just look straight ahead. Big down points for you there. I do check it too, yeah. We might not be a step. Again? I do check them quite often, usually. We might have been a step. I've been watching them, yeah. not checking them nearly enough. Let's not talk about ops. Um, there's three people drunk in front. You should be looking to your side. You're almost the appointment. Uh, Killer, ask about Chaz. Ask about Chaz. Chaz were in our uh, team, right? At the barn? Uh, one section, yeah, he would have been. Huh. Psst. I didn't see much of Chaz because Ask was out of the bridge. Did you see all of them there? Where were you? Chaz about? I'm just looking to see the first point where you took contact. Well, we took first contact when we were stood out of the bridge, weren't we? Jesus, you took two hours before you, you received first contact. <laughs> That's Nelson right there. Stood around doing nothing for two hours before someone shot at you. And then you died. Where, when I get my video up, you can, I feel when you're watching Storm's video there, you'll be able to see him on the manhunt. My video I'd stick with you at the barn, didn't I? Yeah, it's was, it was quite intense actually. Um, the bar an hour and ten minutes in, I stopped using. Yeah. And from, for the next two hours, that I went through. You know what? Was that when I looked over the video, yeah, uh, the, like, the I caught all the tension between Sean and Storm. So you could see, you could when he finally turned traitor, it like it was like a matter uh, like a movie or something. It was brilliant. <laughs> what time is it? Where the um, where when did the argument happen? Storm when he was I don't there? I don't remember. It was about somewhere around the hour at the hour mark, right before it was around about fifteen minutes before you joined me on the bridge. Recording storm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, good lad. I can't wait to, to show him this. This is gonna be priceless. <laughs> so, what what we got? We got him thinking we haven't called him so well. Me. Um. What else? Uh. I remember the moment. It was a really tense moment. But <laughs> I was like, I haven't I seen you leave him much. Here, After four years. It could be a lot more interesting to just uh, see what happen. He said Carlson's a whiny bitch. <laughs> I guess that's true. You fly, you flew the uh, biplane, didn't you? If I remember correctly. Um. No, I think he crashed the Russians flew the biplane. Ask him about Sean. Oh, Ask him about the Sean thing. Yeah. Come up. Ah, oh, nice application of authority, uh, Stormwell. I appreciate you reminding me, Stormwell. Sorry, uh, Andreas, what do you know, for? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
that bit on the bridge where he called uh, Andrea private. <laughs> I'm not private, I'm a recruit. <laughs> that said, you can refer to a group private if you think they're doing well. But um, they give you a funny look. Firstly, I like to call them crows. <laughs> what war are we in right now? Um, killer. Team killer. What war are we in right now? Well, you know, pick a pick. <laughs> well, there's, there's plenty of things to pick from, but which one are we in officially? Baltic States. <laughs> so, so if I were to join right now, would I be a crow? And which, which kind of crow would I be? An Afghan crow? A rock crow? Um, I... What kind of crow are you? I imagine you'd just be a standard crow. I wouldn't be a crow because I'd be joining reserves. I'd be a cadet. I might be a legitimate officer cadet in a couple of weeks. I'm joining UOTC. You get your back. Uh, mod 90 in your bath card. Ah. Get pay as well. You're a legitimate officer cadet. Which meant, if I ever met you in the field in uniform, I could legitimately boss you around and ask you to get the teeth. But I wouldn't. How do I clean the toilet out? Because Psst. nobody wants to do that. And there's a Psst. genuine list <laughs> I might have to clean the toilet out. Oh, marvellous. Uh, I'll put that on my notepad. Uh, avoid Pierce like the plane. If you want to <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I would. I, I feel like if I were an officer, I'd make a point of cleaning the toilets myself and giving my recruits the better the jobs. The men do like that, I must say. What? When the officers share the load. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? If you're willing to tell someone to do something, you've got to be fucking willing to do it yourself. That's, that's the way I see it. If you're willing to tell men to go over with My cat is actually you. on my keyboard typing on my yeah, keyboard. Might as well be willing to He's actually pressing the space bar. My cat is actually pressing the space bar. What the hell? But, but I'm sorry, oh, killer. You're still gonna have to clean my underwear. I'll send it to the man. But I'm going to slide there. What part of the video do you want? Um, I'm at the bit where nothing happens. <laughs> so which bit's that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> About 40 minutes in. Ah, oh, fair enough. Psst, I want to go, but I'm intrigued. This <laughs> 10 inch. Fuck you, Storm. Like checking me like that when I'm not even there. <laughs> uh oh, he got Psst. you. One hour, uh, two minutes and fifty seconds. Right, next ne next time we get in parade, you're doing two laps for back checking the left channel when he wasn't there. Oh, Storm is now picking on you. Oh, you you still recording, right? Oh, man, That's you too, killer, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, in and out. No, no. Always, I always take an argument on its merits and then I always present my own evidence. Alright. Give him I'll the silent treatment. Slow, the treatment. Slowly the give him merit. slowly give him the silent treatment. Like slowly kill That's the combo and then he may go and then he go to sleep. Which is Ah, fuck you, Killer. Better. It's not just my underwear you're cleaning, it's everyone. Uh uh laundromat's out of service and even if it weren't it's uh there. I'll, I'll, find, I'll find some groups to do it for me. Andrea, where are you? <laughs> Andrea, come over here. <laughs> I have a top secret operation for you to do. <laughs> Speaking of recruits, what do you think of them? Which ones? Anyone, take a pick. 
Huh? Any any of them take your pick. What about Andrea? Starters. <laughs> I've seen better target damage. A lot of them are more realistic as like opponents. Uh -huh. I like. I, I think he's got a long way to go. I think he'll stick in well. Boof, I'm very enthusiastic about. He seems Ask to be pretty good to learn. Actually, no, don't. don't. Uh, when he brought him into the team speak, he started doing without prompting yes, corporal, no corporal, yes, lance corporal, no lance corporal, yes, sir, no, sir. Um, which is a good sign that he's willing to adapt to authority. Fair enough. So I'm enthusiastic about proof and home. Um, Andrea, um, if the toilets are not full enough, I mean, he can fill in. I don't actually know that. I think he's a decent guy. Psst. Ask about that. Ask um, about that. I think that uh, Time is meant he met us three, four, five, six, seven years before his prime. And I think that once he's got past this unfortunate phase in his development, uh, he'll make like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> out. I'm just gonna sort of Psst. Wait until his voice breaks. <laughs> Wait till the balls drop. Um, ask about ask I, I about quite Storm. Bad. Yeah, I mean, but, not Storm. But I think voice breaking is as much as we can hope for for now. Well, we always have voice changes available, don't we? Well, on the street was much the same when he first came in. He was I... 11 when he first joined this unit. No, it was for TJ. Yeah, well, this community. I've called you sir in after four years, mate. Don't you? I've always called you sir. You I have. may call you. I, but you know. your voice is going to break until I know. at least a year in the future. Yeah. What? But then you didn't have a voice set, did you? Orange's voice is broken. Kill no. yourself. <laughs> oh. He's broken many other things, but his voice is yet to break. <laughs> um, in Long Street, it has been. For his age, a very competent commander. Psst, no. um, <laughs> Coming so for again. I was put in charge of about 30 people. That's 30 active people, so three times what we currently have in this unit, and he managed them mo most diligently. Of what? I mean, he did well when you went to India. Yeah. Um, I've commended them for that. He did very well as an absentee commander. Uh, I had every faith in Longstreet to do well whilst I was absent, Psst, and he didn't yeah. disappoint. Thank Unlike you. everyone else. And now he's acting civilian. Thanks, Mr. William. Sorry, Longstreet. Longstreet, once you learn how to put your underwear on properly, you can, you can be a corporal again. Underwear? Yeah. What he's going to be, be checking them for skiddies. Yeah. Skiddies. Sorry, mate. You're gonna attack too late, mate. <laughs> yes, he went straight into the grass. My cat is on my keyboard and I don't know why. He wants some attention, but I know, yeah. he can piss off. He's wow. sixteen or seventeen years old in cat years, it's about time. If you wanted any more evidence that uh, Longstreet doesn't know handle, how to handle the pussy. <laughs> uh, I know how to handle the pussy. It's just a cat. Oh, okay. oh. Right, I'm at one hour, twenty minutes, and nothing has happened yet. What do you mean? Oh, a shot's just come in. Wait. Andrew's just shot at friends. No. I've just shot it. Storm, you still recording? Mm-hmm. Straight, man. I can't wait to show in this. Holy shit, two sections like AI. One yeah, section like AI. That's what I mean. When I, when I saw them in the trees, I'll, I could have swore was, they looked like an enemy squad. Because they were yeah. moving in sync. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think like pussy smells street. as bad as this. Please do that talking, mate. No. I think them. Them. who's their organization which was a downfall. Who's <laughs> organization? In fact, seriously, like, go to in that video 12103. Yeah, we'll I'm 
at 05. Let me know when you're at 121.05. What do you think of Sanchez, Biff? I think he's incredibly competent. I think he's confident. I think he's a perfect NCO. I think that the only reason he isn't a perfect NCO is because he thinks he's already an NCO. Fair enough, yeah. I think he learned, he needs to learn how to uh, pick it up and a man before he becomes an NCO. Fair enough, well, Bert told him off today for that. Mm -hmm. Just doesn't have the humbleness at the moment. Humility, yeah. Humility, that's the word. Well, neither did I. That's why I set up my own unit. To have a soft spot for people who are arrogant assholes. Sure. Sean. <laughs> Should be put in a section with Andrea, and both of them should be made to run away from our uh, 30 Mike Mike. Why do you keep him in the unit? While he's um, drunk, he'll tell the truth. I don't really know. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna move them both to. Uh, yeah, you don't need to as well. <laughs> you don't need to. There will be an option for both units dedicated. Yeah. Uh, uh, what about Wow? The master. I think he's a new recruit. <laughs> Um, I'm not wrong. I've not met him. He sounds like he might pass his GCSEs if he's lucky. In a few years' time. But uh, no, it's just uh, I, I don't know. Fair enough. Uh, um. Okay. What You're on my unit. Oh. You're the other. User was moved out of your channel. User was moved out of your channel. User was moved out of your channel. You oh, were no. moved. User joined your channel. My cat we walked all over my keyboard and it pressed a button and it picked you all up. You <laughs> 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 walked all over my keyboard. But what the hell? In seriousness, Rasta, I, I don't, know what, don't know you well enough to actually comment. I've not actually even heard you speak yet, so... What happened to my rank? <laughs> what happened to my rank? Well... Uh, it would be, I have every faith in you to be uh, an exceptionally competent member of this unit. Um, but talking about more of you, Jesse, he doesn't even know that you're 19. I will leave that up to real life to decide where you go and how you do. Uh, I, I've, not, I've not really got anything to add to that. I've, I've not seen you perform. How old do you think he is? 22. Then why were you talking about his GCSEs? Um, I don't know. I don't <laughs> really know how old he is. I've, I've, I've seen him on the team speak a couple of times, but because it's been an ops, I haven't really had the time to have a one-to-one. -one. And, you know, unlike you, Long Street, if I have every case, but at least pass your speaking and listening test in English. Hey, I'd have you now. I've got two Bs. Yeah, no, I just. I don't care what insects is what to do at Long Street. But uh, I, I don't know if I don't know why I'm still cool. I mean, next time I see him on the team speaker, I'll have a one to one with him. He told me. Oh! Oh, speak of the devil. Hey, Wasta. Faster? Faster. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe I've had the actual pleasure of having a one to one with you before. Be good to catch up once your microphone's working. I mean, I'm really pissed, so I can't really read long words right now. Hold on. Yeah, Wafter, well, you are the lucky one. Psst. We're all saying you're the lucky one. You are the lucky one. Oh, normality. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I know what that word means. Um, yeah, yeah, no need for formalities. Um, yeah. Nah, man. We're out of events. We only use that to enforce our, um, 
Can they come on? Ah, side of the for the fucking bullshit. I, yeah, yeah, fucking kill me whatever I've spent. I've not got a stick up my ass. I mean, unless I feel like it. <clears throat> yeah, no, um, we, we only use, like, um, rank calling inside events to make sure that people follow, follow chain of commands. We tried to avoid it for a really long time. Uh, you can call me stick in the ass. Yeah, I, I really don't care. Um, outside of events, this community is as relaxed as they come. Uh, you only get to <laughs> start calling for the extermination of the Jews or other fascist nonsense or Psst. if you're a tanky. Psst, there go. Oh god. Tankies are cancer. Fascist. Oh god. But yeah, um, uh, literally, um, <clears throat> the, 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 be lad. The, the chain of command thing. Literally, we try to avoid it for as long as possible, and then we find out why other arming units use it. And it turns out that it really helps get people get stuff from the arsenal a lot quicker. Um, we actually did some testing on this. It took nearly 20 minutes for people to get their loadout sorted before we enforced chain of command. Uh, after we enforced chain of command, it halved it to under a minute. So that's a 20 times improvement. Uh, Longstreet and Storm will probably agree. Mm -hmm. Heisenberg, you'll make this is too. Hmm? Yeah. We're doing civil engineering. Um, well, that sounds like an altogether far more worth. Sounds like an altogether far more worthwhile and profitable degree than I'm doing. I'm gonna specialize into drone warfare and head into the army as a as an officer or MOD <coughs> as a specialist advisor or PMC as whatever the fuck they'll pay me to be. It's really oh, thank well. God. Um, what? Just oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, here. Nothing wrong with being a royal engineer. They have cool berries. Oh, yeah. Royal engineer is a really good career. Top ten percent. Dreamy. They're trying the likes of Killer and Longstreet. Honorably digging toilets. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Royal Engineer. I'm Royal Artillery Pierce. Ah, artillery digging toilets from a long distance. Well, no, I'll be setting up a long distance well. away. Uh, yeah, I could. Oh, do you do you want Sardinia? Uh, All right, you'll be firing shells. No, I'll the front just... line will be pushing up, and then long will yeah, be setting up toilets and uh, the holes cool. you need. Yeah, pretty much. Not right, right, top 10%. Just give me screen. all points. I'll just get a radio up there. Uh, so you can just go Hello, on. can you do me a favour? Can you make me a toilet? No problem, wait one. <laughs> <laughs> wait out. <laughs> you might want to keep your head down for this one, it's going to be a big flop. Three second, <laughs> three, three second fuse and all that. Nothing like a bunker buster for softening up that soil. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm planning on doing my master. I'm gonna complete my degree. Uh, I'm gonna do a master's in drone drone warfare. Let's hope he doesn't get drunk. Best entry. I hope you're still recording, still, so I can hear all of uh, this. Mod, be hopefully, or higher. If not, head into uh, I am. head into command on uh, PMC yeah. or something. Shitty job. You end up in a really shitty place in the world, but the pay is alright. Storm. Yeah. You left Mussolini in power in Sardinia. What do you actually study in civil engineering? Well, yeah, but uh, if you check a thing, yes, the, the, they are my puppets. <laughs> All right, oh yeah, Taz, he won't remember anything tomorrow. By the way. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, he same. won't trust me. I study an array of things also. And now I can get uh, oh, artillery from. Uh, so. From Italy. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I'm sending my guys home. But I, don't... I mean, the last thing I studied before I took some time out of university due to fucking up everything was um. Yeah, and gear systems in the Falklands War. Do you in your territory? Don't Many know, thanks. Both sides didn't really expect to be fighting each other, and therefore didn't really have adequate anti-air systems. So mainly focused on fucking each other up on the ground. They had a couple of sand turrets, but anti-air was mainly limited to uh, aviate Bs and aviate As on the British side and fuck all else. On the Argentinian side. They had some Russian Eglers and some British Roger McCollums. But I like I like how Stormwell shoots and it says they're friendlies, they're friendly. Andre goes, I'll just check and then shoots them. <laughs> you know about when they engage him on the hill? Yeah. Well, he, he shouted just... out, they're friendlies, but I couldn't hear at this point because I was firing the LMG. He never did it over radio. We need to come up with some new protocol. What's wrong with army protocol? Well, what happens if someone's shooting the LMG and they can't hear you over the sound of the LMG? Knock them out. Tap them on the shoulder, run over to them and tap them on the shoulder. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, there we yeah. go, new protocol. It's not going to remember it. Did, it, did we actually hit anyone when we were shooting at that hill? Um, yeah. Practically, I think I, one of my bullets landed like millimeters away from somebody but it didn't actually hit somebody directly. You nearly hit me on the freaking head. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as that bullet you know, Well you guys are looking because what you happened in the tree. Something important. <laughs> well you guys are lucky because whenever I engage the first um, few bursts are intended to make the enemy hit the deck. They're not actually meant to be on target and then I start picking off. So the first yeah. bit is suppression fire. Luckily he told them to stop firing before I started picking off. Yeah, all the bullets just hit around us. Well, that's the job as the LMG. But he nearly actually hit us. <laughs> I bet you when the bullets start coming in, though, you all fucking were like, shit, hit the neck! <laughs> nah, I knew it was you guys. I saw where the freaking chasers were coming from. Did you see me shooting in the air? No, it was the I shot a couple chasers into the air. No. Because they didn't have a flare or anything. The only thing what we saw going in the air was the flare. Somebody had a flare gun. No, we didn't. Yeah, no, there is. Uh, also a new protocol oh, that uh, if we ask for some location that they could launch a flare into there. If we're doing night training. Mm. Um, you know the IR shrubs? We should use them. Yeah. Do they show up on thermals? Yeah. yeah. Right, we need to start wearing those. Yeah, at least really one do. person, like at least a point man where the IR strobe comes from. Like, well, we're maybe so fighting, when... against, fighting against mid-tech enemies, so IR strobes would be counterproductive. Well, you know. If we I... go on a power, we should come up with protocols for mid-tech, low-tech and high-tech. Yeah. And that includes OPSEC and COMSEC. And I-STAR. Well, we can set up a training program on it. And the storm. We've got the uh, hmm? protocols flashed Some of them guys to the Are you radio training? Mm, I missed. So, I, to, I don't have guys got that. the radio systems yet. Bowman or Klansman? Bowman. Ah, good. That's the modern system. So, you're familiar with the feed window system? Oh god, yeah. let's just fade my the, uh, the main, The main um, Bowman, you know, walk-talkie sort of thing. I'm yeah, the PRC. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm somewhat familiar with the what we know as the long comp and did yeah. a little bit of training with that and then the more intricate systems so I never LR, had the opportunity L with LRR that. rather than the PRC. Mm. You're familiar with LRR, so you can do your nine liners and six liners. Pretty much. Ah, good. 
Right, I'll, uh, I'll need to do a refresher on it, but yeah, I got trained it in the past. Just I'm a bit weak on nine liners, so I tend to stash a bit when I'm calling them, and my stick liners, six liners are a bit shit. So we need to come up with training pro protocols for those. Well, um. Take casualties. If you want. Take I'll, casualties. I'll do a bit of um, tinkering and researching, and I'll come up with some up for you if you want. Tea casualties. Well, we have. I'll show you our SOP document. It's a work in progress. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Shit. I was not expecting. Why this. not tea casualties? Like no, if it's you did not. Serious. It's T five. It's if it's not. If it's serious, however, not like urgent. It's T four. If it's uh, medium, whereas uh, you could deal with it, but it'll be nice to have air support and cover to get him assessed. It's yeah, T no three. The French Kingdom. Yeah. Because it, you know, you're like yeah, you're like doing the death concert. Who me? Flat flat yeah, that's, that's what you explain. Oh no, I just got a thought that from the fourth infant troop brigade is that they're like, uh, we have a man down in oh, grid. I'm heading seven, off seven, to one. university next week, Friday two. Wait, why are you going uni? I thought you got a gap year. Nah, I did that last year, mate. Oh, did you? Wait, what did you? What do you think of our SOPs? This is all written by me, none of it's copy and pasted. Hold on, I'm not gonna read over it now. I appreciate that I've used the term squaddy, but having known a fair few people in the army and well, the cadets, the term squaddy is pretty ubiquitous. Squaddy is the term what you use for a soldier who's in, uh, living on city street, practically. That's what you're yeah, asking. Yeah, but I've heard it used to refer to acting personnel as well. Well, yes. Te well, technically, you know, if they're in base, like doing training or fucking, you know, exercises or all like that, you'd never really call them squaddies. Uh, but if they'll say, and if they'll say in on. between, the section where squaddy is used is not actually something I've written. Not be passed it from wiki. Stand by. I know that because I never write alphanumerical as two words. This is Longstreet's copy pasta. What? What? I know Longstreet's copy pasta. Copy pasta? Copy and paste. Oh. Where? I have about four sides with the radio discipline. Radio discipline isn't easy. Can anyone work out where I am, what I'm doing, and how much I can fight through what I've broadcasted? How would you rate yourself as a commander, Piss? Out of ten? Yeah. Probably a three or four. I'm okay. just doing as the basic uh, set <coughs> and uh, I'm very strong on theory in practice, I tend to bottle it and I'm a bit of a choke artist. Fair enough. Well in reality. How would you one, rate Bert? Two or three. How would you rate me? Four or five. How would you rate Storm? Same as me. How would you rate Duck? In the field, I would rate him as a 7 or an 8. And in administrative, I'd rate him as a 1 or a 2. Fair enough. Mm, in terms of other people in the unit, Sanchez, I would rate as a 3 or a 4. Killer as a 6 or a 7. I would rate. Kazaberg is a one or a two. Let's have a look. Close to every unit. Yeah, totally worth the uh, 11 out of 10. 11 uh, out of 10. What a score. Um. Armor, I think if you ever actually bled himself to me, and Commander would be a solid 6. 
Simply because not only does he absolve theory, but he's well practiced in applying it. But Hummer is only interested in being a good medic. That's fair enough. It's a shame that Hummer just come on more often. Yeah, I really like Hummer. He's, I think, one of the best guys we have in this unit. He was the one what? He was the one what got me in it. Right. Was he? Yeah, he was the one what I asked. I was like, oh, what are you doing there? He's like, oh, he brings in the best recruits, to be fair. I think we've had, I can't remember which recruits we had, but I've always been impressed by them. How I bring in quantity. <laughs> and I, like to th I like to think I bring in quantity. I, don't I, I just bring in quantity. Yeah, and anyone we got, yet, like, I have. I've yeah, he in brought three in. Mahula. Mahula, Chevy, and today, Roach. Ah, well, to be fair, Chevy's turned up twice. Mahula said he isn't turning up anymore. And I Did didn't it? know about it. When? Yeah. When? Like two days ago. Oh, we haven't worked about that. He said today that uh, he would come on. He's a good recruit to have. A lot of times, Joachim is a, as, as a commander. I think Joachim's problem is that he's too nice. Yeah. Too jo Joachim, Joachim is scared to assert himself as a commander. He's brilliant with the administration aspect, though. Yoshim uh, is a brilliant administrator because he wants to do well. Everything Yoshim does is by the book. And if there's regulation and administration, Yoshim sucks it up. He likes arresting people, I'll give you that. Yeah. Every time somebody does wrong or somebody does one little thing, it's like, stand there while I arrest you. Then he takes, takes you away one and thing at a time. To you. Stormlight, for instance. Who don't you stop? No. But first, he has to point a gun in your face when you've only just said well, something. He likes to take a thing at a time when you think about it. He takes a thing at a time. He said, if you, do not, if you do not be quiet, I will shoot you in the face. Like, yeah. what? Like, suggesting like something. Stuff like the He's very good at doing stuff like the book. What did he rate me a 4 over 5? Uh, Yakuz. Oh. Storm. What did yeah. he rate me for? I don't remember. I don't remember what I was rated as. 4 or 5, cool, thanks. I think new Great. Team is I'm higher than him. Hi Gear, if you can hear this, if Storm's still recording, I hope you remember this day because it's great. He knows when to demand that people call him by his rank. I really want you to watch this now. I I'd like to thank you. Deference and respect. Microphone activated. Uh, he, he only likes it when it's by the book. Mm. I think the fact we've made it very clear uh, about side events and outside of being bollocked by staff, if anyone tries to like make you call them sir or corporal or whatever, then you can spit in their face and call them a stuck up prick. Um, uh, I think that that works in Joachim's favour. I think that, that works to Joachim. I think our best field commander is by far and away Dirk. Uh, I recognize it in the field, I'm not that strong. Who? Because, me. Uh, w when it comes to actually putting what I know into practice, I tend to get carried away in the heat of the moment and uh, go, oh yeah, let's fucking shoot everything. Oh, let's, let's fucking charge that shit. So, I'm much better as Renf. You know, Pierce, a lot of people say, even I've had reports, that Dirk isn't actually all that. Um, It's because they say the trouble is with him. He He's a bit, I don't know, the way he does it. It's his way or no one else's way. Like he doesn't accept other NCOs' yeah, ways, and um, it's not, and it doesn't always work problem. out. And if only, if only we could like find some way to merge Dirk and Bert. <laughs> Dirk's humility, sorry, Bert's humility, Bert's humility and deference with Dirk's competence. Perhaps throwing killers bollocking skills. Hey. Uh, I can't actually read your post because I'm lying in bed. So if you do that, you get me. <laughs> Give me a couple weeks and I'll be there. Uh. You go the way you're going and he'll promote you <laughs> to Major General or something. <laughs> so 
Okay. Yeah. What's happening with her? So when we get like let's say twenty to thirty active, what's going to happen? At thirty active, I will open up armor. At forty active, I'll open up air. What will be promotion wise for everyone? Uh, in, at forty active, once we open air, I'll be going to brigadier, and I'll be promoting a captain and two lieutenants. In the what infantry. about NCOs? Just like normal NCOs? Probably standard. I, I I can't plan that far ahead. For all we know, we get like a bunch of special forces guys come in. <laughs> they're really good. And like they accuse you all of being squeakers and <laughs> are like, yeah, fuck, this is the real deal. Like in Seven Kingdoms. Pierce for Psst. president. So we get like let's say twenty to thirty people. So, well, you would... we're already at about 15, so not yeah. too far off 20. Yeah. What would you, who, who, you, you said if we get 20 at, what will happen, so, what would that Most be? Most likely you'll go to sergeant, move to platoon at 11. I'll go to captain, uh, there'll be lieutenant trial outs, so platoon lieutenant, and... Chaz. Platoon, Chaz is lieutenant? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, but not as a um, he's got combat role. He's got totally the wrong mentality for a lieutenant. I know, but what about just like Zeus mode? Like, because a oh, uh, command HQ element. To be honest, I wouldn't want lieutenant. Fair enough. I just want that, that lieutenant. I don't care, to be honest, at the minute. It's still the same thing, kind of. Anyway. It's the oh, same rank, it's just a pronounced difference. I know. I, I just could be wrong. But yeah. I still want to actually play the game, not Zeus all the time. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, That's why I don't want to really high rank. Uh, in, I've probably spent about three, four, five, actually I've spent about 600 hours Zeusing for this unit. I'd say I've played less than 20 hours in game. But that's a bad thing, you know? It's not always good to Zeus, you know? Yeah. It's, because it's, people that's judge why I you. Volunteer. People that's not judge so much you. that people judge me. I, I mean, I think most of the people in this unit have a respect for me. I, I, I feel that. Yeah, but you know what I mean, because let's say... Sorry. Okay, I need to stop being rimmed for more, yeah. more forward, forward action. Mm. It's just because, you know, if people don't see you on the field, they're like, oh, why is he in charge? You know what I mean. People don't understand the full rank structure of... No, people understand that that's not an issue. Mm. I, I don't think anyone here really does. I don't think anyone in this unit really goes, why is Pierce in charge? I think it's apparent that I'm in charge because, like, I said so. But I, I agree, as the unit grows, it will, I will need to make more appearances in the field, and I think we need to set up a, a team of trains users who can come up with realistic scenarios that act in accordance with existing military operations. That would be me. And I have about uh, two million words worth of online documents yeah. from USMCIA and... Uh, GCHQ, uh, about 80% of which are classified, actually. You know, I have mates in militaries everywhere, and classified documents are really not that hard to get hold of. Uh, but, uh, I, I can't really disclose those because, like, I made promises. But I can disclose part of them. Um, I can't disclose those. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't disclose those because I made promises, but I can probably disclose. Man, I really shouldn't talk about my plans for this unit when I'm drunk. Psst. Ah, he's coming to his senses slowly. That's boring. Yeah, I've read over that thing, Pierce. Yeah, it's pretty well constructed. Yes, sir, please. Oh, uh, where are we gonna go? There's a lot missing. Yeah, Don't there's some, there's some uh, bits, bits and bobs which uh, need to be complete still, but yeah, you've got you've got a lot of shit down on it. Uh, there's a few bits I've cut out because they simply don't apply to armour. Mm. 
And at the end of the day, I can't be fucked including things that just don't work in armor. At the end of the day, the goal is to play the game. You missed out one thing which I didn't see. Go on. Seven S's. Aye. Right. Uh, that, that's up for me. Uh, the camouflage is really hard to get right in armor. and I've intentionally left it out until I find a good mod for it. I'm very familiar with the seven S's as I do stealth camping in the UK. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Um. And I do hunting as well. Do I get my portal back? I figured out. Fuck off, action civilian. I figured out how to put my trousers up or pants back on. Well, he's like nope. civilian currently. I'm just JT killer. Are you a colonel, JT killer? No, no, no. Uh, apparently, when we got mass kicked earlier, I lost my rank. Alright, alright, you killer. User left your channel. Um, no. Uh, I, I'm very familiar with the 7S's, but I can't really see any any way to implement them in armor. Well, yeah. silhouette is. Alright, we already about. cover that in terms of skylining. Everyone in this unit is familiar with skylining. Well, or should be. So well, being, for, being familiar with it and actually implementing it are two different things. And that's up to ETS. But yeah, you're right. Um, elements of the 7S should be incorporated. I think the only ones in armor which would never actually have relevance is Shadow. And, um. What's the other one which would be? Dine. Shine, yeah, Shadow and Shine. The rest um, of them could be implemented. Uh, so I'm getting ready for the Civil War. Oh no. No, no, wait. No, wait, no, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. It sounds wait. isn't that good. <laughs> that sounds... It's actually, yeah, to be yeah. honest. Like, when I was running that ambush against you guys yesterday, you guys heard us. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, so, sound, uh, sound, uh, is, uh, sound, is, sound is important because you could implement, like, you know, when people walk around with yelling on. And yeah. just talk. Um, yeah. yeah, so we always shout, go to go to whisper. Yeah, that that, that could be how sound gets implemented into it. Three days. Um, obviously, uh, we, we Shine is actually simulated in armor. Is it? Yep. One day still. It is. Hmm. Uh, mainly to respect now. Oh, thank God. But because everyone, everyone in armor in the game is so resolution, unless you have like a supercomputer, yep, you can't actually you see, it. see it. Yeah. <laughs> About to say, in armor, one thing what I've not noticed is the shine of the sniper scope. I've never noticed that. Mostly because, like, we play night missions. It's not that. I've been. I've played plenty of missions. You know, during the day. Um, about to say I've got over five hundred well, uh, hours. Still, we got I've never here. ever seen. We're I, got, uh, I actually got we shot with it earlier on Westland, and we killed each other. Dawn of the Asian League. He was a sniper at, like, <laughs> at one point five kilometers, and I was a machine gunner. Oh my God, look I got him with my reflex scope and he got me with his shine scope. I saw the Rip. flash of the scope the and fuck? I just instinctively shot it. <laughs> oh, you and I killed man. him and he killed me. Well, he killed me. What have you done to me? And then two seconds oh, uh, later, I killed him. No, I... <laughs> fuck off. What have you done to me? He moved, he, like, he had time to move to my channel. You'll get it back. And back into his game. You'll get it back after. Him. You done well, that. I take it that the shine no. will happen on no. you're aiming down the scoping armor. Right? Yeah, you will. It was. Oh, my country's. It was perfect angle. You really need perfect angle for the spec oh, mask to pick up. Country. But uh, yeah, shine does apply, but not to the same extent that it does in real life. Yeah. Because about to say in real life, it also includes like the whole reason why you put camouflage on your face, the war paint. Now cover up the shine areas. That's actually shaped. It's shape and shine actually, because your uh, cheeks and your nose, when you sweat, they come shiny. They can uh, see it. More, more shape than shine. Shine is a secondary. Yeah, but like I said, it's. As, uh, well. I, I, I hunt and track a lot, and 
realistically the shine on their face is minimal, it's mainly the shape you want to break up. Well, I'll tell you some up, when I once were on an exercise of training, one fucker forgot to do his nose, and we were walking along night time, mind you, full moon, well, I think it was three quarter moon, something like that, and he was hiding in the trees about, what, 20 metres away, maybe a little bit less, he was crawl uh, ducked down, because when I looked in, I saw the pink, uh, the moon, practically the moonlight reflecting off the pink fucking nose what he had, I saw it immediately. So, yeah, I, I would class that shine. That's fair enough. Yeah, fair, it, fair, fair. It, 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 it is relevant for the shape. I'm shape. researching my first destroyer now. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's meant to start your face. The whole purpose of camouflage is to break up the outline of your face. Exactly. Uh, the whole purpose of camouflage, the very uh, philosopher, you could say, behind it, is to make ourselves look as inhuman as possible. Mm. Well, rather, it's to make yourself look as not lucky as possible. <laughs> but it's to make yourself not look. It's meant to make you look like part of nature. Uh, and well, there are no straight lines in nature. Simpler than that, it, it's to break up your outline. That That is what there's, camouflage there's, does. There's, there's uh, like, if you should master camouflage perfectly, you can literally be literally like two meters from somebody in the cat see you. Yeah. Yeah, I. Check I, these I, in front. I remember that in we had a guy who was a whiz. He came, from a, he came from a hunting family. Yeah. Uh, his dad Amazing. was a poacher. And ever since he was like two or three, sick Poland. I said sick Poland, not to take Poland. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh -huh. He was like there camouflaging, and um, one of the Honest, cadets put a really. sleeping bag Go on top of him and didn't notice. Says me the job of going into Russia. He was literally sleeping on top of this guy and he didn't notice. And in the morning when he woke up, the cadet camp guy, like the, the sergeant, no, sergeant officer, who was like the adult, responsible adult, sent out a search party. Search party couldn't find him. The dog found him eventually because he's found Well, yeah, but well, you know, dogs, some fair advantage. The dog found him, and even when the, do the dog pissed on him and he didn't break his camouflage. They're like, what's that? What are you backing at? Like, what are you backing at? Eventually, the guy burst out laughing when the search party was nearby. Uh, and there's a huge debate, I remember, <coughs> in the cadet instructors whether to tell him off or tell him he'd done well. Fair enough. Considering they had to bring in, like, RAF guys and search dogs to find him. This heifer bumbo. Like, they put him in front of the parade, congratulated him, but uh, made him eat the shitty shit leftovers of everyone's MREs. Like, on the next, on the next yum, they made him eat the shit bits of everyone's MREs. He wasn't given an MRE himself. <laughs> White piece. <laughs> yeah, like, he was a whiz kid, and I learned, I learned a lot about my Joseph, something his name was. They added a lot of what I know about camouflage off him. And about trapping. Like, he taught me to trap rabbits. Um, and still, it. nowadays, when I'm going out in the possible? UK, I trap rabbits and stuff, he taught me. I like going rabbits. So, well, it's point. not that hard. Rabbits are fucking stupid. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's easier than basically you can die. Wait, what? So, it's a lost form, you the Polish have lost 500,000. How is this yeah. possible? Yeah, but the guy in front of you. I never expected this. Yeah, true. How am I half a Poland? You fucking move out of this channel, Chaz. No. <laughs> like, I'm lying in bed. I can't be bothered to get up. <laughs> a verbal kick. <laughs> yeah. Why? I kick you from this channel, Chaz the Bug. I'm lying in bed. I'm not getting up. Yeah, um, I was that. Hmm. Oh, 
killer. I'm thinking about taking a load of people from this unit out into Sweden to climb this winter. Over Christmas hold. Mm. You down? I will not say yes, but I will not say no because, like I say, I don't make, you know, plans well, for whenever. I can I be your language instructor. Interested, I'll look into it because it'll take yeah. a lot of planning because the temperature, the mean temperature is minus twenty. Well, it, it isn't that thing, bad. If not this winter, I'll be more than willing to do it at some point next year when I'm actually up on my feet and I got some money from the army. Yeah, that sounds fair enough. Basically, the big problem for me is that I'm going to be taking a bunch of inexperienced mountaineers up a glacier. Well, we always can go up to the uh, Lake District and get some criminal trend on there. Well, yeah, that, that, that's one of the ideas. I know Snowdon really well. Um, you, you can get a good jump over Snowdon. Never been to Snowdon. Ah, it's a fucking mountain. Mm. I climb it. Usually once a fortnight at university. I'm pretty unfit, but um, once a fortnight if I can. Next time you're in the area, man, fucking let me know. But it's very rare I come uh, south of fucking Steffi. So yeah, I will do. Alright, well, next time you're in the area, let me know and I'll, I'll take you over to go Well, I'll let you. Uh, I want my training. Uh, no, I think it's phase two. That will be sending me down south. So, you know, I'll let you know when that happens and you can meet me. Down south. <laughs> Don't go south, killer. You'll be infected by the southern disease. I am very Fuck well off, Storm. <laughs> I got this as well. Storm, Storm. Storm. Private Storm. Thank you, Private Storm. South is perfectly safe. All the diseases we have down here will actually be conducive to your long lifespan. About to say, any diseases that you guys have down there are nothing compared to northern diseases anyway. Your cold is just a mere sniffle to me. <laughs> Mate, I got this in India. Well, <laughs> you know, that's, you know nothing nothing about that's, about that's a foreign disease, alright? <laughs> you know nothing about sickness when you've been in India. You know nothing, John I, I, I saw a guy with a leg that was literally... 70 centimeters across with oh. elephantitis. It looks like an elephant. Did you see the elephant man? Uh, yes. Yeah. You want me to uh, justify for you? And his leg was about the same size as an elephant's leg. Fucking You have an elephant's leg. If you can't try and stir me, uh, I, have no, I have 50 meters or 50 days until. Mm. Well, yeah, next time you're in the Snowden area, let me know and I'll pick you up, Crypto. Yeah, Bob. Anyway, I'm really tired, so I'm gonna have to sleep. Alright. I'll probably speak to you tomorrow. We are doing an event tomorrow, right? Um, well, Chaz will definitely be hosting, right? What? If I'm not here, you're gonna be hosting your campaign, right? I see if I'm here, maybe. Lovely. We can uh, continue your campaign, yes. Whatever happens, there will be something tomorrow. If if I'm not on, Chaz will be on. If Chaz isn't on, then. Well, I've had a, I've had a word with Muhalla, and he says it's coming on tomorrow. So. Wonderful. We'll have staff in there tomorrow. We should have a turnout of about twenty. That's what you do with recruits. If they say they're not coming on, you say, "Why the fuck aren't you coming on?" And then all of a sudden they change their mind. <laughs> oh, stop. You're That's dead. a short term. Hmm? That's short term. Because you're just a friend. Well, the, yeah, the, the problem with that approach is you get a group just... of three events. Uh, and well, his excuse is, is that he's. Well, well they aren't that strong. Yep, he said mm, John Nippet, the Bible British. Community. What I usually do when people try to know about these communities is that. Well then. Um, and then I give him nothing. Um, Alright, for Bullshit. going to yeah, the UK, it's time, bearing on me. It's time for you to think of, uh, no, on, on me. <laughs> well, after on us. Intense gameplay, you get bored of anything. Uh, so I usually wait three weeks. Why? Don't worry. Why is you going to do this? A master of <laughs> <laughs> think of it this way. Well, if, if, it, if shit goes to the fun, yeah, just do your communist. Uh, <laughs> Communist speech on him. Let's not. I don't want tankies. 
<laughs> I'm quite good at the whole come in this speech. But I'm not a commie. If I were a commie, I mean, we, we would be the Red Army and you could wear VD, VDV camo all the time. Have the DMF, DMF <coughs> summer, sound to you. I, I think I'll stick with the MTP. MTP is the best. Yeah. Well, second best, next to uh, WGPM. I used to like the old 95s. I have a load of MTP gear, actually, and I have a load of WGPM gear as well. Uh, I bought MTP and WGPM not because, like, I'm tactical, because I camp illegally on people's land. And WGPM is really good for camping on woodland, and an MTP is really good for camping on farmland. So well, I can't believe. The bad state makes you uh, like a shadow at night MTP. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. And even in the daytime, unless you're like within 30 meters, it's impossible to spot. And like, if you're in a wheat field, good luck. Yeah, gone. The downside of that is, is if it's harvest season. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen the inside of a combine harvester. <coughs> no, it's, it's, it's not a site what I usually uh, go to inspect. <laughs> well, um, it's not particularly arousing. Yeah, well, then, mm. Pierce. Night. Good night, mate. No, Shaz, it's too late for me. Are you? <laughs> I was just thinking, I need to get some sleep. Clock is uh, clock is free at my place. I can't. I can't just be up anymore. I've saved it so I can quit now. Uh, I'm. Basically dying here. <laughs> you fall, you fall asleep while playing, so. No. He was. 